Hi everyone, today's headlines. New coronavirus variant that spreads faster found in UK. Nagaland prepared to launch COVID-19 vaccine drive by Health and Family Welfare. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 11,761. Center concern over COVID situation in Nagaland, Himachal and Uttarakhand. Dimapur, Delhi direct flight from December 26. Punjab police burst drone module engaged in cross-border smuggling. British PM Johnson to be Republic Day chief guest. Tainwen 1 over 100 million kilometers away from Earth. UV emitting LED lights can kill novel coronavirus, say scientist. Hyderabad beat SCEB in 5 gold thriller. News in details New coronavirus variant that spreads faster found in UK. Britain's capital London will be placed under the highest level of coronavirus restriction from Wednesday amid a very sharp spike in COVID-19 cases in London and its surrounding areas as a new variant of coronavirus was identified and responsible for the faster spread, the UK government announced in Parliament on Monday. The UK Health Secretary Matt Hancock told the Parliament that swift and decisive action were needed as the doubling rate of COVID-19 has hit just in five days in several parts of London. Nagaland prepared to launch COVID-19 vaccine drive by Health and Family Welfare. As India gears up for COVID-19 vaccination drive, State Health and Family Welfare Department said it was adequately prepared to carry out the vaccination drive in Nagaland. Informing this to media persons here, Deputy Director and Spokesperson on COVID-19, Dr. Nyan Kikon said that the vaccination drive will be carried out in phases. The first phase will be for healthcare workers, followed by frontline workers, but further directions were awaited from the Health Ministry. He said, around 18,000 to 19,000 healthcare and frontline workers have registered for the first phase of COVID-19 vaccine, Kikon said. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 11,761. Nagaland on Tuesday reported 33 new COVID-19 positive cases, 15 in Kohima, 8 each in Dimapur and Mogochung, and 2 in Peran, taking the tally to 11,761 cases. Center concern over COVID situation in Nagaland, Himachal, and Uttarakhand. Center on Tuesday expressed concern over the COVID-19 situation in some states like Nagaland, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and called for bringing the situation under control. We request the government and citizens of Uttarakhand, Nagaland and Himachal Pradesh to do effort to bring the situation under control. Dr. VK Paul, member health at Niti Ayong told the press conference here. Dimapur Delhi direct flight from December 26. In what comes as a major relief for passengers, the much-awaited direct flight between Dimapur and Delhi will be operational from December 26. According to airport sources, Indigo Airlines will be launching the direct flight to Delhi from Dimapur, which will be operational thrice a week, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Punjab Police burst drone module engaged in cross-border smuggling. Punjab Police have arrested two members of module using drones for cross-border smuggling for narcotics and weapons through an international network including Pakistan-based smugglers with links to Khalistani operatives, police sources said. DGP Dinkar Gupta, who addressed a press conference, identified the suspected as Lakbir Singh alias Lakha and Bajitar Singh. He said four of their associates were lords at Amritsar jail and police were looking for the rest. British PM Johnson to be Republic Day Chief Guest British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will visit India in January to be the Chief Guest at Republic Day Parade, UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Rapp announced on Tuesday. After holding talks with his Indian counterpart External Affairs Minister S. Jane Shankar. Addressing a joint press conference after the talks, Jay Shankar said, the two sides held four hours of discussion on a wide range of issues and focus has been on how to take the bilateral ties to a higher level. Tainwen 1 over 100 million kilometers away from Earth The China National Space Administration on Tuesday announced that the country's Mars probe Tainwen 1 is currently more than 100 million kilometers away from Earth and is functioning normally. As of 9 p.m. on Monday, the Mars probe has flown in space for 144 days and traveled more than 360 million kilometers. Report Xenia News Agency, it was more than 100 million kilometers away from Earth and about 12 million kilometers away from Mars.
UV emitting LED lights can kill novel coronavirus, says scientists. Ultraviolet light emitting diodes can kill the novel coronavirus efficiently, quickly and cheaply, according to a study which says the new innovation could be installed in air conditioner and water system. The research published in a journal of photochemistry and photobiology, B Biology assessed the disinfection efficiency of UV LED, irradiation and different wavelength on a virus from the family of coronaviruses which include the COVID-19 causing SARS-CoV-2. The entire world is currently looking for effective solution to disinfect the coronavirus, said Hadas Mamani, co-author of the study from the American Friends of Tel Aviv University in the US. Hyderabad beat SCEB in 5 goal thriller. Ariden Santana struck twice in less than a minute to script Hyderabad FC thrilling 3 2 win over SC East Bengal in an Indian Super League match here on Tuesday. Santana twin burst came in 56 minutes after SC East Bengal scored their first ever ISL goal through Jacques Megoma in 26 minutes. There was no looking back for Hyderabad after that as they struck in third goal in the 68th minute with a list on Koloka, making a terrific run to set it up for Harry Charan Nazari to find the back of the net. But there was more drama in store as Megoma too completed a brace from Anthony Pickington, free kick to reduce the margin in the 81st minute. That's all for now. To get such latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.